and Softec has developed a series of videos for the selection and design of stormwater facilities for land disturbance projects. In this video, I shall show you the design of urban biotension facilities using Swimsoft VA. Virginia Department of Conservation and Recreation or DCR specification number 9A gives a complete description of these facilities, their performance and criteria for design, their feasibility and design applications, regional and special case design adaptations, their construction and maintenance. The pictures and tables shown here are from these specifications. Urban biotension facilities are structures such as stormwater planters, expanded tree pits, curb extensions, and foundation planters located in ultra-urban developed areas such as city streetscapes. They feature hard edges, often with vertical concrete sides, unlike the more gentle earthen slopes of regular biotension. These practices may be open-bottomed, to allow infiltration of runoff into the subgrade, but they generally are served by underdrains. The major design goal for biotension is to maximize runoff volume reduction and nutrient removal. Table 901 gives a summary of stormwater functions provided by urban biotension areas. You will notice that there is only one level of design for these BMPs. Table 902 gives the urban biotension design criteria. The required filter bed surface area is computed using the Darcy's law. This will be approximately 3% to 6% of the contributing drainage area, depending on the imperviousness of the CDA. For urban biotension, the required surface area is also computed as the treatment volume divided by the equivalent storage depth. The equivalent storage depth is computed as the depth of media, gravel, or surface ponding multiplied by the accepted void ratio. Urban biotension is limited to 2,500 square feet of drainage area to each unit. Larger drainage areas are allowed in special cases. The drainage areas in these urban settings are typically considered to be 100% impervious. While multiple units can be installed to maximize the treatment area in ultra-urban watersheds, urban bioretention is not intended to be used as treatment for large impervious areas, such as parking lots. The bottom of the facility should be at least 2 feet above the seasonally high groundwater table. This may be reduced to 12 inches in coastal plain residential settings. The ground surface of the urban biotension cell should slope 1% towards the outlet, unless a stormwater planner is used. The soil media depth should be a minimum of 30 inches. If large trees and shrubs are to be installed, soil media depth should be a minimum of 4 feet. All urban biotension practices should be designed to fully drain within 24 hours. The biotension soil media should have a minimum infiltration rate of 1 to 2 inches per hour. A proper soil mix will have an initial infiltration rate that is significantly higher. Let me open a project and set up a urban biotension facility. I call this BMP1. I go to File, Design BMP Facility. This opens the urban biotension design screen. You will notice that the treatment volume field is already populated. Default values are entered for the coefficient of permeability, design filter bed drain time and porosity of filter material. These can be changed by the user. You will notice that pretreatment types are shown here. Pretreatment options are similar to those of regular biotension practices. After entering all the open fields, I click on the design urban biotension the program calculates the required filter bed area, and compares with the area provided. At least 75% of the water quality volume should be held prior to infiltration. The adequacy of the temporary storage is determined. The remarks will show, if the design is satisfactory or not. I go to the top menu bar and click on File, Save. This will save all the data including the results. I now go to the top menu bar and click on File, Print. The print report, which is in Excel format, gives the results of analysis. This completes the design of urban biotension facilities.